What's up car guys and girls? We will be working on my 64 Mustang again. We're gonna be installing the last of the wheel cylinders to get my brakes to work. And that should be it for today. So first we have to jack it up so we can take the wheel off. So now we're gonna be taking all of the nuts off so we can just pull the wheel off. Pretty self-explanatory. All right, so now that we got the wheel off, we need to take this off. I think it's called the hubcap, but don't quote me on that because I'm dumb. So to do that, you just get a big pair of these fire things. So I'm not very technical. You just kind of wiggle it back and forth. And it'll pop off like that. So now you just want to get a flat head. Pull this off. Don't let this touch the ground because it's greasy and you want to keep that on there. This nut right here should not be too tight. So you should be able to either get it off with your hands or just get a pair of pliers. Should be pretty loose. You go ahead and take that off. I like to just set them in this little tin that I took off. Mm. All right, so once that's off, you should be able to just pull this off and get the bearing out. So there's the bearing. I'm just gonna drop that in there too. And pull this off. So now you have your brake assembly. So on this one, I already got the new wheel cylinder in. I just forgot to put the little adjuster right here. So I'm gonna do that on this one. And then I'll go to the other side and put that wheel cylinder in. All right, so I don't really want to take the whole brake assembly apart to put this on. So I'm going to try to squeeze it in if I can. So it should go this way. So after a fair bit of prying and adjusting, I finally got it in. So whenever I pull this little string, it should pull that up and rotate that a little one notch at a time. Now all we have to do is put everything back together. So I'm gonna grab this, put it on just like that. All right, so all we have to do now, I put the bearing in, I have this little washer. It does have a little notch right there. And there's a little groove in the threading. So you just want to put that through right there. Grab the nut that you took off. Try and thread it on there. All right, so you just want to make it hand tight. You don't really have to do anything else. Then you want to get this little piece that comes off. Give you a close up, looks like that. You just want to slide that right over the nut. And then your hands are going to be really greasy because there's a lot of grease on the bearing. And then you want to get your little hubcap thing. You want to put it around that. I like to get a hammer, just tap it in. Now all we have to do is put a wheel back on. Now lug nuts. sure anybody that's watching this knows how to put some lug nuts on so I'm not gonna show you guys that but yeah we're done with that wheel all right so I got all the nuts loose on this so I can just take it off I have it jacked up you want to get them loose before you jack it up though because they're really tight and you jack it up 
and you try and turn it, the wheel will just spin like this, which is no fun. Then you have to lower it and then jack it back up. So just get them a couple turns. Right. So now they got all the nuts loose. I can pull the tire off from the wheel. Set that over there. Now I gotta pop the hub cap off, just like we did on the other side. We just need to get these. Try and just wiggle this off. And you should be able to just pull it straight off. Like that. So now there's a little uh, pin, I forgot what they're called, but there's a little pin. I might be able to get them off with. All right, so if it'll focus, there's a little pin right here. You just need to pry up over here and over here, and then just pull that through, and then it's just the same thing we did on the last side. I got the pin straightened out. Should be able to just pull it out like that, little pin. Then just like the All right, so now you can see the mechanisms inside of it, lots of springs. So what you wanna do is you wanna take these topped two springs off and then take it off over here. And then you wanna take this one off. And then after that, you can pretty much take everything off pretty easily. And then I'll show you what to do next. So there is a special tool that you can use to take the springs off. Unfortunately, I do not have one. So what I do is I just, Take pliers. <laughs> Bend the springs back as much as I can. Alright, so that spring is off. You can just take it out of this little hole like this. It has a little cobwebs on it and stuff, but that's what that first spring looks like on the right. Do the same thing for the one on the left. So now I just want to take this spring out if I can. Sometimes you got to work it. They're put in there weird. There we go. That's what the one on the left looks like. So now you just want to take apart pretty much everything. Just like springs, just take them off. What you want to do now is take this spring off. That'll make it so you can take this little wire contraption off. And then you want to take these springs off. Then after that, I'll show you what to do. All right, so I just took off the spring that was going from there to there. So now, I can take this little piece off, set that aside, and this little wire goes all the way around, hooks onto there, take that off, set it aside. All right, so we got everything off. We just need to push these in and turn them. It's like a little flathead, you just need to push them in. Best way to do it for me is just get some vice grips and just push it in and turn it like that. And then both the brake shoes should come out off after you do that on both sides. So I need to do it a couple times to try and get it so it lines up. We're almost there. Push it in, turn it, and if I can get this on there. And there we go. So it just looks like this. You just gotta push it in and turn it. Can't see that very well. There you go. Then you should grab a spring off of it and then there should be another one of those. Like that. So just set those aside, do the same thing on the other side and then your brake shoes should. All right, so now I can pull the brake shoe right off, set that aside and then do the same thing on this one. All right, so we got both brake shoes off. This is the brake cylinder or the wheel cylinder that we're gonna replace. So you want to grab these, 
pop them off. Shouldn't be too hard to do that on each side because we're gonna be reusing those. You can clean them up if you want to, but you don't have to. Here comes the hard part. So you wanna go behind it and there's gonna be, let's see, a bolt right there and then a bolt right there. And then you wanna get this line off. This is a brake line connecting it. I might need to replace that hose because it looks a little bit crusty, but you wanna turn those off. This is really hard to get because there's no really good way to turn it because there's this here and obviously this here, but you gotta find a way to do that. And then you can just unscrew those. Those are the only things holding this on. And then we can pull this off and replace it. All right, so I got the two nuts loose back here, bolts, I guess it would, you'd say. Um, so I had to use a U-joint so I could get in there. It's really difficult on the front. So now I can pull it out, but we still need to get this undone. So what I usually do is I take these, I expand them all the way, and I grab this and try and get that loose. So we couldn't get the um, brake line loose from the wheel cylinder, so we're taking a blowtorch to it because heat fixes everything. So after we heat it up, we're able to take it off. So now we have this, and then we have our new one right here. So I got it threaded on there, as you can see right there. Now all we have to do is push it in and then put these two little bolts back into the back of it. So now we have it bolted in right back there. And now we need to put these things in. They should just push right in. Put those in on both sides and you can start the reassembly. So it should look like that. So I got the left brake shoe on with that little spring. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the right. Then we're gonna have both brake shoes on and we can start putting on the springs and other accessories. So I just put everything back together, put the bearing and then the nut and then this little casing for the nut and then the pin back through. Now I'm just going to 